going to show you a small quantity of cannabis plants for private consumption which can easily be grown indoors. We have chosen the variety K2 on a soil seed bed. We'll also show you how we fit out the growing room, which materials we use, and follow the complete process of growth and bloom from cutting through to harvesting. Almost anyone can find a place in the house that can be made suitable for growing a couple of plants. We have chosen an attic in a normal terraced house. This room is about 6 meters square, of which we use around 3 square meters for the plants. We start by cleaning the empty room. To prevent bacteria and fungus, we use a good disinfectant. We use plenty of water and ensure we don't miss a single spot. Great care is one of the main provisos for growing cannabis. Let the room dry thoroughly. In the meantime, we have plenty of time to purchase the materials needed. We buy these in a grow shop. For example, here in Hydro Hobby and Arnhem. We don't want neighbors wondering what's going on. So we try to eliminate all risks. From the outside, the situation stays as it was a normal attic or bedroom. In the room itself, we cover the fixed window with fireboard. To make the room airtight and prevent light being seen from the outside, we glue the fireboard to the window frame with silicon glue and screw it down. For the casement window, a special fireboard construction is made. Here, a ceiling ring is fixed to attach the air outlet hose at a later stage. We screw the window tight so that it remains ajar. Around the window frame, we fix loudspeaker cloth. In this way, we block the view to the inside while keeping the air outlet free. After screwing it to the window, we also apply silicon glue. To avoid leakage, we create a shallow basin to put the plants in. On the floor, we create an approximately 30 cm high rim. Polystyrene plates are laid on the bottom to avoid the plants coming into contact with the colder ground. After this, we cover the basin with PVC foil. Of course, the foil is only stapled to the top of the rim. The next step is to cover the walls and ceiling with PVC foil. To mask the temperature difference, we apply anti-detection foil to the ceiling. The walls are covered with a black and white foil. The white side of this foil reflects the light, which increases the effect of the lamps. The black side is fixed to the wall and prevents fungus growth. All joints are sealed with so-called duct tape. This ensures that the room is airtight and no light can spill out, while vermin and bacteria have no chance of getting in. To fit out the growing room, we first suspend lamps. This is the most logical step, because the lamps have to be positioned right over the plants. 
We use three 600 watt industrial medium lamps for our plants. The industrial assimilation lamp has a safety trademark. As the lamps weigh approximately 10 kilos each, the suspension system has to be sufficiently robust. These lamps are water resistant and the chance of short circuiting or fire is minimal. The reflector of the industria illuminates an area of 1.2 to 1.4 meters. The lamps are hooked on chains so they can be adjusted in height. Together, the three lamps use 1800 watts per hour. To avoid overloading the fuses, we limit the number of equipment to the electrical circuit. We have connected the two outer lamps on the outside, so they will be lit simultaneously. One of the most important elements for home growing is good air circulation. The plants must breathe. The evaporated moisture has to be dispensed with and the heat of the lamps must be dispersed. Separate equipment is used for a supply of fresh air and for the used air outlet. Moreover, the air that is ventilated has to be thoroughly filtered. We don't want bad odors escaping the room. Because the air pump is located inside an insulated box, it can easily be hooked onto the ceiling. The boxes are hooked to rubber rings thereby avoiding vibration and noise pollution. The carbon coal filter is connected to the air exhaust. We have chosen a CAN 366 carbon coal filter. CAN carbon coal filters have a large surface area which allows a lot of air to pass through. Moreover, the air filtering carbon grains are thoroughly vibrated which increases the density. These qualities guarantee a long working life for the filter. The capacity of the carbon filter and the air outlet pump must be matched. The carbon coal filter must have enough capacity to filter the whole room. We also fix a sound muffler between the external opening and the exhaust air pump.